Hi, Augustus. Hey, young lady. How you doing? Oh, I'm just having a dandelion of a day. All right. You ready for this interview? I think so. Let's get her done. All right. So this is our third episode in Gardner Gusta documentary. Would you like to introduce yourself or say anything for the viewers, Augustus? How about some encouragement for y'all? Y'all may think you're cooped up, but check out these chicks. Around and around they go. When they <laughs> stop, nobody knows. <laughs> They're still managing to have fun, and looks like one thing they didn't cancel was the chick fil a 500. Oh, and by the way, there has been no evidence that goats can spread the virus. So check out G-U-S, Goats Unlimited Spas. When it comes to goat spas, we're the real goat. Wow, thanks Augustus. Uh, also, thanks for talking with us again about weeding. We've talked about planting and watering. Are there any other things you need to do in the planting process? Weed? Be fooling ourselves if we imagine the garden was all planting and harvesting. Well, in the long period in between seed and feed, you got to pull some weed. Look at Wade. Life in the garden, after all, is a real struggle between life and death. Well, that ought to do it. So gird your loins, strap on your overalls, and prepare for war. It's an intense battle for resources. And all those greedy, sun-stealing, nutrient-nabbing, water-wasting weeds must be dealt with. Ye stupid weed. How do you go about weeding your garden? First, you need to be able to identify the enemy. <laughs> Will this plant make yummies? Who needs gum when you got fresh mint? Or will they steal all the good stuff and give my plants grumblies in their tummies? You don't want all those negative influences in your garden. Once you do that, you need to eliminate, exterminate, and exfoliate. If it's hurting the garden, why, it's got to go. I was the most improved kid on my t-ball team. Ugh. It's just like in life. You constantly have to be weeding out the negative influences. That's a surefire danger. When you've got some big plans for something maturing, you can't let that be compromised, just like Paul said. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every other form of malice. But Augustus, what does weeding have to do with waiting? Well, Weeding isn't all that pleasant, but it's something to do. Sometimes the best things to do are those less pleasant tasks that you've been putting off. Some of you might have been doing some of those kinds of chores lately. If you don't want to be bored, you might have to find some less fun chores to take care of. So even though weeding seems like it's destroying, the purpose is actually to foster growth? I like to think of it this way. Maybe you're not as socially connected as I am, so this might fly over your head a little bit. The parties I go to are exclusive affairs. Well, this here garden 
is an exclusive party. We don't just welcome anybody. Invitation only if you get my drip. A weed is basically an uninvited guest. You know what uninvited guests do, don't you? They eat all the party favors and drink all the soda pops. Well, I want my close friends like Tom the Tomato and Sweet Pea and Pep Pepper to have a great time at my party. So, that means I got to escort the party poopers and unruly guests to the exit sign. Right there's my little party pooper. Excuse me, may I see your invitation? What? You don't have one? Well, guess what? We're gonna see you later. So that my friends get the nutrients, sunlight, and water that they need. Thanks, Augustus. Glad to be of service. Oh, and you can start calling me Gus. Well, it's been real. It's been farm. It's been a real farm with y'all. Join us for our last episode of Gardener Gus next week. You ready? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Whew. Game five. All right. I was going to punt out. That was going to be a separate clip, I thought. Stupid weed. Let me do that again. We have seen the enemy. And he is weed. Maybe I can try that again. <laughs> that might go on the bloopers. <laughs> <laughs>